Good morning, guys, or good afternoon, or actually probably good evening by the time I upload this. Um, I just wanted to hop on here quickly and talk a little bit, touch on a few things with regards to this uh, KO for Kids uh, boxing charity event um, that I've been posting about. Um, if you're watching this, then you've probably seen some of my posts. Um, I wanted to um, touch on the fact that uh, all of us, all of the people that are um, fighting in this charity, that are fighting in the event, um, are asking for donations, obviously, because it is a fundraiser for uh, two different foundations, for the Box Run Foundation, founded by Mike Strange, um, which helps uh, children with childhood cancer and their families, and the Pathstone Foundation, which helps children in crisis. Um, so... I realize that it's right after Christmas and, um, you know, money's tight for everybody, um, or it is for us anyway. So, um, I know that, you know, January, everybody's just kind of getting back on their feet and whatever. Um, and that's understandable. What I wanted to remind everybody of is that any donation, no matter how small, uh, can go a long way. Um, especially when we are working collectively as a as a region it's within niagara region it's within our own uh area that we're helping families and and children in need um even you know sometimes it's the little things that can really help a lot and um of course i mean obviously big donations are going to go a long way um but like as far as cancer research and whatnot um I mean, and other things too, but sometimes, I guess what I'm trying to say is sometimes for families and children, sometimes even a little bit can really have an impact. Um, and I don't pretend to know what it's like to have a child with cancer, um, but I do know what it's like to go through um, watching something, something eat away at my child's body and have absolutely be completely helpless. Uh, in the situation and not be able to do anything to pr protect him. Um, so little things like even a, a little bit of money can go to a gift that can give a, a child a smile for that day. Or, you know, I spoke earlier in one of my, uh, I think in, in my last video about um, even donations towards like a cot for a mother or a father to sleep on while they're staying in the hospital with their child. Um, little things like that, a little bit of money can go towards something like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lot of people. I've heard a couple people, you know, uh, it's almost like a negative thing. And I know this isn't everybody. This is, this is, uh, the very few, but you know, saying, uh, negative comments like, you know, they'll, they'll never be a cure for cancer. Well, we don't know that. <laughs> Um, there's so many different forms. Every case is unique. Um, but okay, go ahead and think that way. But also there's other ways that you can help. It's not necessarily, your money ne isn't necessarily going towards the research. There are, there's a plethora of other areas that your donation can go towards that can help these families and can bring a smile to these, to these kids faces. Um, so I know that cancer has touched, if you're living in this area, it's touched your lives. Um, and it's becoming more and more prevalent when you hear about kids having cancer. I, I know of so many, I mean, I'm in my 40s, um, but I remember even back in high school, uh, I remember of somebody in particular that died of cancer when he was about 15 years old. So this area is really, uh, everybody knows it's, Cancer is very prevalent here. So anyways, when you're making your donation, it is going to families in need in this area. What happened to my lighting? Um, so that's number one. Uh, number two, well, no, that was number two because number one was, I know it's Christmas, it's just after Christmas. Number two um, was that. I'm having a brain freeze. Hang on. Okay, so I think I got it now. Ah, my lighting's going again. <laughs> and my dog is knocking at my door. Um, I just wanted to touch on the fact that, yes, we're all working really hard towards this cause. 
Uh, yes, we're going to be in the ring fighting against each other, but red team and blue team, we're, we're one team fighting for the two charities. So we're, we're basically one big team fighting for the same thing. We all want to uh, raise money for these families and for these children. And um, I don't want people to lose sight of the fact that, yes, it's, it's, it is for entertainment. But the main goal of this, and this might seem obvious to some people, but I think some other people have lost sight of why we're actually doing the fight. There's some reasons why. There's been emails and some things that have been said. Uh, I won't go into that. But anyways, it is, we're fighting for these causes. And the fight itself is symbolic of the fight towards or the fight against childhood cancer and the fight to help these children who are in crisis. Um, you know, at the end of the day, nobody, I don't think anybody wants to kill each other in the ring. We're putting all this effort to hone in our skills on this sport and to do the best job that we can when we get in the ring. And for some of us, probably maybe all of us, I mean, like I said, every, everybody in this region has been touched by cancer. Um, this is such a great outlet for me as a mom who's been going through this with my son over the past year and I continue to go through it with him because uh, as I said in my last video he still has cells he's gone through major major surgery and there are still cells left over that we now have to we're in a waiting game right now while these cells could potentially be building another tumor and taking over the back part of his jaw and I, as a mother, have no control over this. I'm at the mercy of the surgeons and uh, their expertise, and his jaw has to heal. And until his jaw is completely healed, he can't go for injections to kill the tumor. So anyways, this is a great outlet for me. Um, and I, as I said before, it came at, it was, it was like a godsend. It came at just the right time for me. Um, my 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 son sees all the work that I'm putting in. Um, anyways, just I would like everybody to keep in mind what this fight is for. Um, so you don't when when you see our our donation boxes come up on your on your Facebook feed, you know, um, like I said before. Big donations are great. Small donations are great too. Anything you can give to any of us, uh, any of us who are fighting for this, is going to be so much appreciated. Not only by us, but by these families that we're trying to help. Mostly by these families that we're trying to help. Um, so that's about all I have to say. Um, until next time, I'll be posting again soon. Um, uh, one other thing I just wanted to touch on quickly I, is that I don't want anyone to think that um, I'm trying to cram this boxing stuff down anybody's throat. Um, it, you know, you can obviously swipe past it if you're not interested, um, but that this is what I'm trying to do when I do post these pictures and post this stuff is trying to gain obviously recognition and try to um, gain donations and um, trying to get you know tables bought and stuff like that. For the event so and to help help these families so that's about it um if you've got any questions you can message me on messenger or you can email me at body tuner not turner body tuner t-u-n-e-r sorry that was really obnoxious it's just that sometimes people put that r in there and i don't get the emails so body tuner 360 at gmail.com i'll put it i'll put the link down below thanks guys have a great night